Let me bring in the former chairman of the ABC, Morris Newman. Morris, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, this sort of denial of a problem from the ABC and its supporters, you, you've seen that over many years, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Chris, and congratulations to you and your team for having put together that documentary last night, which I saw. Uh, there's nothing in it, really, that I disagreed with. I thought you were being balanced in the way in which it was presented. And, uh, yes, I have seen over the years during my time as a director, you may recall, I had a, a stint as a director for a five-year period. I resigned after three years for the very reason that uh, I found that certain people within the, on the board uh, were leaking information which uh, essentially would have been to, the, uh, to positive change for the, for the ABC had it been allowed to go through. But uh, so be it. I then never expected to go back as the chair. As the chair, you may recall, back in 2010, I gave a speech to the 250-odd journalists, programmers and so on, where I suggested or recommended strongly that the ABC be more curious, that it surprise us, that uh, it got away from the groupthink, which is prevalent in, prevalent in so much of the media. And for that, I was absolutely castigated. And when I happened to dare mention the issue of climate change, uh, I was likened to somebody who said pedophilia was good for children. So, I mean, you can't say anything to me, having been on the inside, this is a staff collective run for the collective, and uh, there is nothing that will change that because it's deeply embedded in the culture. Well, let's talk about that staff collective and uh, how it works and how it can sometimes even nobble the board or the chair or management. Uh, let's have a little bit of a, these, uh, a look at these clips from the documentary, hearing from former director Janet Olbrickson and also former managing director Jonathan Shire. You go to a lot of um, events at the ABC. They schmooze. You take selfies with celebrities. And, and soon enough, you have become so connected to the staff and management that you lose sight that your role is actually to lead. In fact, I think, you know, the staff have a near-perfect record of seducing chairmen, CEOs, many board members. And those that they can't seduce, they, para you know, they, they can't paralyse with that warm embrace, they basically get rid of. There was a wonderful quote that one body, somebody gave me once in the organisation they say, um, Jonathan, we don't really worry about chairmen because we just find that we flatter them and they coalesce in the end. <laughs> um, and uh, certainly that was true of my chairman. I think it's been a few, few chairmen that, that they, are, uh, they are smothered with affection um, and at the end of the day back off. Well, Morris, I don't think, don't think they flattered you. I don't think uh, you coalesced uh, with the ABC staff. How do you get a board that's actually strong enough to make the organisation adhere to the letter of the law? Well, in the case, in my particular case, they didn't uh, flatter me so much as to go to set up an inquiry into editorial policies to see how they could be uh, seeing that the editorial line was more balanced and less, less partial. Uh, but uh, what they effectively saw in my case, I think, was that there was a Labor government uh, which did not appoint me, that my term was coming to an end, so they were going to see me out. And I think that's, that tends to be what happens. But as I said, Chris, the issue really for me is that there is a culture there which is no longer uh, doing what it was meant to do back in the 30s, which was to bring the country together. It is divisive. And I think it's sad. I mean, of a, I'm of a generation where we used to gather around the radio, listen to the 7 o'clock news. The ABC really had a, a, a sense of, of, of uh, being, uh, being factual, that something that you could rely upon and trust. I think that has been destroyed over the years. And now, with the multitude of uh, means by which we can view or listen to view, uh, points... Uh, news and, and, and opinions on social media or another uh, subscription television or to on radio and so on, it doesn't strike me that the ABC can justify $1.1 billion a year of taxpayers' money. And remember, we spent 20, or they spent $26 million over four years on, legal, on, on a legal department and fighting legal uh, defence. 
whether it be uh, Louise Milligan on, on Pell, whether it be uh, uh, Christian Porter, uh, the Andrew Lamming case, and so on, 6% uh, only of all complaints that go to the ABC are ever upheld or partially upheld. So there's a culture there which is a Thanks fortress for mentality, uh, groupthink. Sorry? All right. Sorry, uh, sorry. The, the delay caught me out there. Thanks so much for joining us, Morris. I appreciate your insights there.